In the following video, you can see Haim is serving. As he launches the ball into the air, the ball is in free fall. We used Haim's tennis racket as the measure, 69 centimeters. The non-vertical, non-horizontal line that is formed in the graph represents the ball's acceleration. Because we're on planet Earth, this acceleration is due to gravity. The slope of the line was negative 9, 757 meters per second squared, very close to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. In the position time graph, the displacement in the y direction forms a curve with the blue dots. This is because the ball is accelerating from fast to slow as it goes up and reaches the turning point. Then it accelerates from slow to fast before it gets hit by the racket. There is almost no displacement in the x direction because the ball was thrown straight up. The red dots on the graph show a horizontal line with a slight slope because the ball moved a little to the right. In the following video, we can see Samir shooting a free throw in the binational games. As Samir throws the ball, the ball moves in the x and y direction, meaning it's a projectile and is in projectile motion. We use the height of the top of the backboard to the floor, which is 12 feet or 3.6 meters. In this velocity time graph, another non-vertical, non-horizontal line is formed. The slope of this line also represents the ball's acceleration in the y direction. The slope of the line was negative 9.717 meters per second squared. Once again, very close to negative 9.8 meters per second squared, acceleration due to gravity. In this position time graph, motion in the y direction forms a curve, while motion in the x direction forms a non-vertical, non-horizontal line. Blue dots represent motion in the y direction. The curvilinear path is created because of the acceleration due to gravity. When the ball goes up, reaching the turning point, it goes from fast to slow. As it reaches the hoop, the ball goes from slow to fast. The red dots, which represent motion in the x-direction, show constant speed with slope of the non-vertical, non-horizontal line. This is because acceleration in the x-direction is 0 meters per second squared. The problem of the lab was solved. We accurately proved that acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We can also conclude that the mass of the object thrown will not affect its acceleration. We hope you enjoyed the lesson and had fun learning that free fall and projectile motion will always have the same acceleration in the y direction. You, you guessed, guessed it, it. 99.8 meters, meters, meters per second squared. Rock on.